Bonjour les élèves. Aujourd'hui, on va faire une étude du livret. Livret. Livre. We have learned this word, livre. Livre means the book. Livret means a book in smaller size, but livret always refers to passbook, family book, school report book, So today, we are going to do a study of different kind of livret. Livret means smaller book. So, the first book that we are going to talk about is livret scolaire. Scolaire, you know this word scholar in English. So, scholar also comes from scolaire, which comes from school study. So, livret scolaire is school report book. So, livre scolaire, you find in every French school where different subjects and the students' aptitude and results are also mentioned in the school report book. Livre scolaire. So, similarly, there is another word called vacances scolaire, that means school vacation period. So, scolaire is the word that we should retain in our mind. Apart from livret scolaire, we will also talk about livret de famille. Famille? Famille is family. You know, livret de famille is a document that is issued in France to every family for the health of the family. So it can be translated loosely in English as family health book and livret bancaire. Livre Boncaire is the savings passbook. So we are going to see different aspects of these things because now we are going into a stage where we should be able to interact with French establishments in French. Appreciation générale sur le niveau d'implication et les progrès de l'élève. It might sound a little bit difficult for you But in English, you know most of these words. Appreciation is appreciation. General is general. Sur le niveau, le niveau might be a new word to you. We will come back to that. Implication is implication. Et le progrès, progrès is le progrès means the progress. De l'élève, de l'élève means the student. Another word for élève is pupil. So, appreciation générale sur le niveau d'implication et les progrès de l'élève. In this particular thing, you might be wondering what is le niveau. Le niveau is the level. So, during this certificate course of French, when you were in the first book, when you were in the first level, it was le niveau 1. Then you went to the niveau 2. And now we are in niveau 3. So, a livre scolaire generally talks about the progress of the pupil or the student and his or her general aptitude. A typical livre d'élève or livre scolaire has nom de l'élève. Nom de l'élève means surname or the family name of the student, prénom. You must be wondering why prénom is in plural. Because often in France, you have two or three first names. Like Jean Paul Boucher. So Boucher will be family name. And Jean Paul, Jean will be one first name. And Paul will be another first name. So prénom is put in plural. Date de naissance, you know already, date de naissance 
when we were doing passé composé, we talked about the verb called naître. So date de naissance is date of birth. Nom et l'adresse de l'établissement. For example, it is situated on Janpath in New Delhi. You have to put 20 rue Janpath, New Delhi, and then you have to po put the PIN, postal index number, what is called in French as code postal, nom et l'adresse de l'établissement. So now, in every livre, livre scolaire, in every livre scolaire, you have les compétences attendues. Les compétences attendues is expected competencies or the competencies that have reached by the student. Now we are going to a very complicated word, maîtriser. Maîtriser means mastered. So I master in tabla playing. So je maîtrise de la tabla. Or I master French language. Je, je maîtrise bien le français. No maîtriser means not mastered, means that person does not have the competency. The second level is insuffisamment maîtrisé, means insufficiently mastered. Then mastered, maîtrisé, bien maîtrisé, means very good or well mastered, or you can say a very, somebody who has a very good mastery over something. So these are the niveau of the, these are the levels of the subject competencies. Now we will go through a huge number of words that relate to the subjects that are taught in a typical French high school. Art, les arts, art is, it can be painting, it can be danse, so art has a very wide definition, it can be sculpture, so les arts, la biologie, la biologie, you know, it's the biology, ecology, ecology is ecology, ecology is like how we cope up or how we observe the ecology and the ecosystem of the earth sciences, histoire, histoire is history, geography is geography, Géopolitique. Géopolitique is geopolitics. Et science politique. Science politique is political science. Humanité means humanities. Littérature is literature. Et philosophy. Philosophy is philosophy. So, just to give you an idea, most of the words that ends with like la philosophy, geography, histoire, ecology, biology, they all, all are feminine words. So la biologie, l'écologie, l'histoire, une histoire. Remember, histoire has got two meanings in French. Histoire can be story, l'histoire can be history. Another word here I would like you to remember is littérature. Remember, in English, there is one T in literature, whereas in French, it's double T, littérature. Then, long, long is languages, littérature et culture étrangère, foreign literatures and cultures, okay? Once again, usually we do not use literature and culture in plural in our context in English, but foreign literature and cultures, they, they have been put in plural, and regional, and regional cultures. You know France has multiple regions, like Provence, La Bretagne, so if each and every region has its own literature and culture, then long, long is language, mathematic, mathematic is mathematics, Numérique et science informatique. Numérique is digital and computer sciences. So, the other day we did l'ordinateur. So, whatever 
concerns l'ordinateur is informatic. Les sciences informatiques is computer sciences. Computer science. Remember, in French, science is always or mostly used in plural form. Like we have seen science politique in plural and then science informatique. Now we are going to see three other science, but before that, physique. Physics is physics. Chimie is chemistry. Physique and chimie. Physics and chemistry. Science est de la vie et de la terre. Science de la vie et de la terre. Like life sciences and earth sciences. Science de l'ingénieur. Engineering sciences. Science économique et sociale are economic sciences, I mean, what we call economics in English, and science sociale is social sciences. Long des signes françaises. As you know, in a developed society, we are more and more inclusive, so there is something called long des signes. Long des signes is something that is actually for the people who have difficulty in hearing or speaking, it's for them. So in French schools, they do teach langue des signes française. Then education physique is sportive, physical education and sports, which is often optional. And then there is another optional subject that is atelier artistique, artistic workshop, where you can learn how to do printmaking, how to do painting, how to do sculpture, how to do photography. So, atelier artistique. Ar atelier means workshop. Atelier artistique. And then comes hypology et équitation. Hypology. Hypology means it's a science that concerns horse, like to judge a horse, how to choose a horse for the race or for any kind of horse-related sports. So, hypology and equitation is art and practice of horsemanship and horse riding. So, these are the subjects more or less you find in livre de sco livre scolaire. So, livre scolaire is something I'm introducing you as a part of how to read instructions and how to read different kind of brochures that are in French. Because if you are going to go for foreign studies, if you are going to go for immigration to a different country where French is the primary language or the official language, you would come across such many livres. The next thing that we are going to talk about is they have also three other subjects which are very important. One is Pratique sociale et culturelle, social practices and cultures. Well, I mean, cultural practices and social practices that can also be taken up as a subject. Agronomy, agronomy is agricultural sciences, economy is economy, and territoire. So, territoire is land. So, these three subjects are taught in a single go because they have multidisciplinary or pluridisciplinary approach. Agronomy, economy, territoire. Long vivant étudier. In this one, long vivant is the languages which are still in practice, like Hindi, Bengali, French, Spanish, Hebrew. There are many, many long vivant. So you can also choose as an optional subject, you know, long vivant, and you can study it. So now coming to the second part of this course, which is Livre de Famille. What is Livre de Famille? Livre de Famille is a book, a small notebook that is, you, that is issued to you by the, by the mayor's office, le mairie, upon your marriage or when your first child is born. So, une livre de famille garde, keeps, une livre de famille garde les informations concernant la famille. Now, we are going to talk about livre bancaire. It is very important because in most of the countries where we go and we tend to stay for longer time, we have to open a bank account. 
So livret bancaire. So livret bancaire is basically a savings passbook. So now we are going to read a few passages from livret bancaire. Toute personne, même mineur, peut ouvrir un livret d'épargne bancaire. The word épargne is new. Épargne is savings. Épargne. Épargne. So, toute personne, même mineur, peut ouvrir un livret d'épargne bancaire. So, all persons, including a minor, means who is in France, less than 16 years, can open a saving passbook at the bank. Avant de vous engager, n'hésitez pas à comparer les différentes offres des, des établissements bancaires et lisez attentivement votre contrat. So, here we are going to point out two things. There are many words which are new, but we will come to new words later. Because more and more you listen to new French words, you will get accustomed to and you might be able to later on use them. So, avant de vous engager, before you go and open a livre bancaire, n'hésitez pas à comparer, n'hésitez pas, n'hésitez pas means do not hesitate. So, n'hésitez pas is the form of imperative. So, when we were reading, we, we were studying imperative, you remember we were telling you time and again that it can also give you advice or instructions. So, this is the instruction mode of imperative. N'hésitez pas à comparer les différentes offres. Of in a previous lesson, in one of the previous lessons, which we have, we have learned this word, offrir, offert. Offrir means to offer. So, n'hésitez pas à comparer. Comparer means to compare. It's the same word in English. Les différent of, the different offers, des établissements bancaires. Établissement is establishment, banking establishment. Et lisez attentivement votre contrat. Contrat is contract that you know already. So, lisez attentivement means attentively. Pay attention means carefully read the contract. So these are the instructions that we are slowly learning and getting into a complete French mode. So now I'm going to read them once again for your understanding. Toute personne, mais mineur, peut ouvrir un livre d'épargne bancaire. Avant de vous engager, avant de vous engager, n'hésitez pas à comparer les différentes différentes offres, différentes offres offres. Excusez-moi, excuse me. Different of des établissements bancaires, des établissements bancaires, et lisez attentivement, et lisez attentivement votre contrat. Then we are going to another thing that is very useful for banking information. Renseignez-vous sur le taux dont vous pouvez bénéficier par la suite, surtout pour une longue durée. Very difficult. Renseignez-vous means get yourself informed. Se renseigner is the verb. And we are going to talk about se renseigner in a few moments. Sur le taux. Taux means the interest rate. Dont vous pouvez bénéficier that you can get benefited by for a long period, long durée. So, durée is the word which we have learned even previously. Durée means long, durée means long duration, durée means duration. Quelle est la durée du film? What is the duration of the movie? 50 minutes, 50 minutes. La durée, surtout, means above all. Surtout, it's a new proposition, a new uh, word that you are learning now. Surtout means above all. Enfin, sachez que, enfin, sachez que vous pouvez ouvrir plusieurs livres d'épargne bancaire dans des établissements financiers différents. Be informed. Sachez que. So, this is something which, again, is in imperative form. So, this particular lesson, I am trying to give you a real-time experience of the French system and how 
different form of tenses are used such as imparfait. So, enfin, sachez que vous pouvez ouvrir plusieurs livrets d'épargne bancaire dans des établissements financiers différents. In different financial establishments, you can have multiple savings account. So, épargne, as I said, it's savings. Taux is rate or interest rate. And sans renseigner means to get information. Je me renseigne means I am trying to get information about. Je me renseigne, tu te renseignes, ils se renseignent, nous nous renseignons, vous vous renseignez, ils se renseignent, elles se renseignent. So, I am talking about this verb with a particular intention because this is also a reflexive verb. Reflexive verbs are called in French as le verbe pronominal. So, when you go for the passé composé or the past tense of son renseigné, how does it conjugate? Je me suis renseigné, tu t'es renseigné, il s'est renseigné, nous nous sommes renseignés, vous vous êtes renseigné, ils se sont renseignés, elles se sont renseignées. And the same thing when you turn into imperative, how does it conjugate? Renseigne-toi means go and get information. Renseigne-toi bien, go and get information properly. Renseignons-nous. Renseignons-nous means let's go and take information. Renseignez-vous. Renseignez-vous means get information. So this is the three forms of sans renseigner because this is a reflexive verb or le verbe pronominal. Now, sachez, sachez que, which we have come across. Sachez comes from savoir, means to know. Je sais, means I know. Je ne sais pas, means I don't know. Je sais, tu sais, il sait, elle sait, nous savons, vous savez, ils savent, elles savent. And, passé composé of sachez is, j'ai su, tu as su, il a su, nous avons su, vous avez su, ils ont su, elles ont su. And, what is the imparfait? Imparfait of savoir, means to know. Sache, sache que demain le bureau est fermé. Know that tomorrow the office is closed. Sachons que la banque est fermée demain. Let's, be, let's know that the bank, tomorrow is bank holiday. Sachez que demain l'université est est ouvert means know that tomorrow university is open so this is imparfait now with this we are coming to a concluding part of the lesson so i would say that the livret the livret scolaire livret de famille and livret bancaire gave you different aspects of french life and the way they give instructions so, while giving instructions, you need to use imparfait and present tense. So, I would request you to create a livret scolaire, créer un livret scolaire de votre étude du français. So, whatever you are learning in French, so there is grammar, there is vocabulary, there is composition, there is pronunciation, créer un livret scolaire Create a report book or school report book of your French studies. With this, I would wish you bon courage, bonne continuation et à la prochaine. Au revoir.